Hi everyone and welcome to my beginner's guide to Canva. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Canva's free account and how to use my Airbnb welcome book template to create a really professional looking information book for all of your guests. So let's dive in. Some of you might be thinking, what is Canva exactly? And the best way I can describe it is it's pretty much your new best friend in the design world. Canva is a free drag and drop graphic design tool, and it's perfect for creating everything from social media posts to logos, business cards, websites, and of course, Airbnb welcome books. And the best part, you do not need any fancy design skills because Canva supplies it all. To get you started, you will need to head over to canva.com and sign up using your Google, Facebook, or email account. Now, remember that today's tutorial focuses on Canva's free version. So there is no need to sign up to Canva Pro. You do not need to enter any of your credit card details for the version of Canva that we will be using today. Once you have logged in, you will land on the Canva dashboard and it is going to look a little something like this. You're going to want to think of this as your creative playground. So everything you need access to is going to be here on the dashboard. So you will see over on the left, you've got this purple button and that is a really quick way of creating a new design. You've got projects, which is going to be where you access all of your projects that you're working on and then templates. So anytime you want to create a new project and you don't want to start from scratch, like a blank document, you will click on templates and go through all of the ones that Canva provide. All right, so let's quickly explore the rest of the dashboard. Up here, you have your search bar and that's a really quick and easy way of finding templates. Down here is your design types. So social media posts, uh, presentations, flyers, logos, business cards, anything you can really think of in terms of graphic design, you are gonna find it here. And then below that, this is where all of your recent designs are going to sit. This is going to be the, the library that you probably access the most. At the moment, I've only got one design, but if I had a whole bunch of them, then this is where I would find them. Today, we are skipping ahead to the fun part and learning how to use my Airbnb welcome book template. As an Airbnb ambassador, I work with new hosts every day. And one of the most common questions I get asked is, how do I make a welcome book and what information needs to go in it? Which is basically what drove me to create this Airbnb welcome book template that I can share with all of my new hosts and existing hosts just like you. Okay, so let's start by opening the welcome book template. You will need to head to my website to access the template, which is www.theartofhosting.com.au. And from here, you will be emailed a PDF instruction sheet. The instruction sheet includes the template link. You will click on the link, which will take you to a page that looks like this. By clicking on the purple button, it will take you directly to the template design within Canva. And now that we have the template open, it's time to start editing. Before we jump into creating, I want to share one of my top tips for editing templates in Canva. Always save the untouched version for future projects and make a copy to edit. This way, when you need to create a new welcome book for a different listing, or maybe to update your current welcome book, you'll always have the original template on hand. To do this, head to your dashboard and you can access your dash dashboard by clicking the three horizontal lines in the top left corner, followed by the home button. Here, it will bring you back to the main dashboard and you can see all of your recent designs. Another great Canva tip is to rename your templates to avoid confusion. I like to label my original files, do not touch, followed by the file name. This way, you won't accidentally delete the file. And to make a copy of the template so you can start editing, simply head to the design, click the three dots in the top right corner, select make a copy, which will now appear in your recent designs. 
You can also edit the name of that file, which will avoid any confusion. Okay, let's get started. Let's click on the file you wish to start editing, which is the copy of the welcome book, which is the file that we just created. My template includes over 40 pages and you can view them like I'm doing right now by scrolling through the pages. However, this one has 49 pages and that does take a little while. So I do like to use the other view option, which is down in the bottom right corner and it is the grid view. If you click on that button, it will take you through to every single page in the template and you can drag them around, you can delete, you can copy and paste, you can do so many things from this view. Here you will see that I've created pages for all of your essential information like check-in and check-out instructions, house rules, Wi-Fi details, local recommendations, and of course you won't need to use all of these pages so you will just delete the ones that you don't use. Let's start by selecting the title page design. All right, so today I am going to choose page number three, which is this one here. To exit the grid and start working on the design, I simply need to double click this page. Let's begin with the text. So you can click on any text box in the template and you can edit it with your own information. For example, where it says title page right here, I'm going to click on that until I see the cursor. And I'm going to personalize it by writing welcome. And in the box below, I'm going to change the wording to breeze beach shack. You can also change the font, the size and the color using the toolbar at the top of the screen. So just up here, so you can highlight and make that bold. And I could also change the color if I wish. Next, let's add a photo of the property. So you can replace the image box with your own by clicking on the image and then selecting upload from the left hand menu. Let me show you how that works. So this is an image box. Wherever you see that you can drag and drop an image from your album. So we're going to go over to uploads and we're going to upload some photos from our computer. So click on the purple upload files. And here I've selected some photos earlier that I'm going to easily grab onto and open up into Canva. And as you can see, they're all starting to load over here on the left. I'm going to grab a portrait orientated photo and I'm simply going to drag over to my design. And there you have it. I have a little banner here and you can change the transparency. Down the bottom, I can add my address, phone number and website if I wish. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to the grid view and I'm going to delete the other title page options because I don't need them anymore. So there's four title page, page options. So I will need to go through and delete three. And there we have it. The title page is finished and now I'm going to move on to the Wi-Fi page. If you want to tweak the layout, Canva's drag and drop feature makes it really easy. You can move text boxes, images or shapes around to fit your style. Obviously, these templates that I've created are not going to suit everybody. You may want to tweak them a little bit and that is completely fine. You can even delete or duplicate the pages depending on the content that you want to create in your welcome book. So let me explain that a little bit further. Just say you want to list a bunch of your favorite restaurants and you really like the look of page number 23. You have 12 restaurants that you want to list. So obviously there's only enough room for six restaurants on page 23. So this is the perfect opportunity of when you would duplicate this page. So to do so, you will press the three dots in the top right corner and you will duplicate the page. And there it is right there. So you can now edit both of those pages and list the 12 favorite restaurants that you want to share with your guests. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna double click, which will open up the design. We're going to change 
the wording. And this is a really good time for me to show you how to customize the color theme to match your property style. So you can easily change the colors of the elements that I've got in the template. You simply click on the background and the color picker will appear above. You're going to click on that and you can select any color that you like. There is even the option to put in the custom hex code to match your branding. So I've been working with a particular sage color and I know the color code for that. So I'm just going to type it into the search box just like that. And the color has shown up. I'm going to click on that and Canva will save this color for me over on the side. So whenever I want to use it again, it will be really easy for me to access that. Now I can go ahead and drag in some photos of each of the restaurants, as well as fill in a little bit of information about each and maybe the address and a phone number. The quickest way of making a booking would be handy to your guests. Once your welcome book is fully customized, it's time to delete the pages that you don't need and then download the file. So for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to pretend that I've filled out everything that I need and I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the pages that I don't want in my welcome book. All I need to do is click on the share button in the top right hand corner and then click the download. And because I want this to be a printed copy, I am going to select a PDF and best for printing. I hit download and the copy of that PDF will now be on my computer. It's up to you how you choose to share your welcome book. In my experience, I find that a printed welcome book gets read a lot more than a digital file, but it's really your call as to whether you print it out and place it in your Airbnb or email it directly to your guests ahead of their stay. Some hosts even upload uh, their welcome book to their Airbnb listing for easy access. Before we wrap up, here are a few quick tips to keep in mind when designing your welcome book. Number one, keep it simple. Guests will really appreciate clear information. Don't complicate it for them. Number two, use high quality photos. Your images should reflect your property at its very best. Number three, be consistent with branding. If you have a logo or specific colors throughout your listing, use them throughout the design of the welcome book because it will create a really professional look. Number four, practice. When it comes to Canva, like most things in life, the more you use it, the better you will become. So please keep practicing. That's it for my Canva tutorial and welcome book walkthrough. I hope you found this session helpful and now feel confident creating your own Airbnb welcome book. Canva's free version offers so many great options in regards to design, so you really don't need to feel limited at all. If you have any questions or need help with the design of your book, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for joining and happy designing.